I can only assume that you didn't get the pace from your dad. He'd say different. <laughs> <laughs> I was about 13, 14. We used to go for a, a jog on the block, but I used to beat him home. So I got to a point, I think I started running with my mother instead. I'm not going to go there, but it's not, it's not my speed, obviously. I just seen him as my dad. He was growing up, he was like, oh, that's my father. Now, as you get older then, you start to understand what standard he'd been playing and sort of how good he was. You had opportunities at the Blues, but competition for places in the back row in particular was quite fierce at that time, wasn't it? Didn't get, really get much game time, but made a decision that I suppose if I want to give it a good, good go and hopefully work out, I've got to leave. At that time, it was, a, it was a hard decision to do because it took me completely out of my comfort zone. But you, go to, you went to Gloucester, didn't so you? I went to Gloucester for yeah. a bit, yeah. I didn't play as much, but you know, I learned a lot not outside of rugby and I grew up, I suppose. The owner has to take a big, um, you know, a big tap on the back as well. I put three or four players in front of him, Thomas being one. I think this kid is probably exactly what we want, but he's my son. You know, the Blues have their options. I'm dealt, so totally trust you with judgment. If you think he's the best option, we'll go with it. He showed a lot of confidence in me by signing me and thinking that if he gets some game time, he's good enough to play this stand. And he's had to come across a lot of uh, people say you're only there for your dad and, and or, or you wouldn't be there if it wasn't for your dad and so on. But I think he's more than proved that was being the case. You know, the senior players at, at Wasp didn't treat me no different when I turned up. They made me settle easy in and... You must have got a little bit of gin. They yeah, must still get it now. Uh, yeah, this, it, this it would is, only be natural. Yeah, it's as natural. Or, We'll come in some trainings and I'll get the odd comment. What are we doing in training today? Did you plan it last night? He's certainly one that's never going to give me any information on, on the squad. His, his lips are sealed, pretty much. Is it true that George Smith came in and said you should be playing him more often? I probably made a lot of mistakes early doors with uh, the way I handled Thomas. I was probably far too hard on him. George and Matty Mullen and, and a couple of the senior players, which I put a lot of trust in, they came in and I'll chat and say, listen, you know, we think you've been a little bit hard on on Thomas and he's shown enough in training and in games that he should be playing more. Talk about the influence of George Smith. Just the certain ways of lines of running, you know, when to commit to a breakdown, when not to. He said, play with your heads up, it says there's no point going to a breakdown if you see that they've got three people coming to clear out. He said, you're taking a hit you don't need to take and you're just wasting yourself. And he said, it's better for you to be in a defensive line than a number on your feet. And he always was a step front, in front, just the way he read the game. and. If there's a ruck in midfield, he'll know where to go from there. And where he needs to be. Yeah, where he yeah. needs to be. And that's something I've tried to pick up on, something I'm working on. Where will squad announce next week? What do you think? Is he, is he test quality yet? Well, you know, as a dad, yes, definitely. As a coach, yes, definitely. <laughs>